there's still a lot of discrimination. There's still a lot of prejudice. Our community is not monolithic. Uh, we're very diverse and we're not all doing well. We're not all the spelling bee winners and mathematicians and scientists. Communities of color in general, and I think in some Asian Pacific Island communities, we still see great disparities. And what really keeps me going is really, really, uh, really working with people uh, for social justice. I've watched Diane Narasaki pull together our community and give voice to it in Olympia. You know, she's really the one who helped organize that um, a API lobby day. Without ACRS, there's no Asian Pacific Island Coalition or there's no Asian Pacific communities coming together. Cambodian, Laotian, Tagalog. Mobilizing, so coordinating, planning, strategizing, advocating, educating the community. Come together, let's go. The clients, many of them have become a U.S. citizen and they are so happy they can vote, they can participate in the civic affair. Whether it's citizenship or English language learning or job retraining, you know, it's more than just a technical aspect of, of teaching them to get their citizenship certificates. It's once you get that citizenship certificate, then what do you do with it that is life transforming? That's an amazing opportunity to talk to policymakers. Thank you, Patty Murray! People who control the purse strings. Thank you for your enthusiasm and your commitment and for making this country stronger and more compassionate. And give a personal kind of face to what the needs in our community are, and especially over the last five, six, seven years when our national and local economy have really been hard hit. We look to ACRS to be the representative voice for our people and our communities um, at the front line. ACRS is a terrific model that can be replicated and scaled around the country. But it also really focuses on a culture of collaboration and mutual support and not competition. I had a great time when I visited uh, ACRS and other groups uh, in Seattle and it was a real privilege to see the work that's taking place on the ground. For example, as we've been working on immigration reform at the federal level, um, we look to ACRS and other community partners uh, here in Washington State and Seattle uh, to be our echo chamber as we do the advocacy inside the Beltway in Washington, we look to our partners here to be in communication with their congressional delegation members uh, so that we're able to press the issues on both fronts. That's a critical partnership. You know, we're looking at how the Affordable Health Care Act unfolds, what the impact is in our community. I think that's an example of where we can count on ACRS to understand and then respond in a meaningful way. There will always be basic needs in our community that I think ACRS will be trusted to respond to. But I also think that they'll be able to understand how to evolve as issues that we can't even anticipate sitting here uh, will surface.